Just one week before global restrictions on travel um, halts the spread of coronavirus, we were so fortunate to have visited many of the projects and people of Russia supports. Is anyone's guess when we'll next be able to see them in person? We saw the Orphan Mums support group where these vulnerable women and children receive emotional and financial backup from their mentor and from ourselves. Um, we were able to bring them clothes and bless them with the meal we prepared. With the changes we're all facing, please pray they still have the means to continue supporting each other through this crisis. We went to the Fedrovitz Centre where disabled young adults and people with learning difficulties are loved and nurtured. They learn skills here in a society that's ruled them out as achievers. This was our first visit to Fedrovitz since the founder, Yuri, passed away. We will continue to support his wife. Um, Ira just needs strength and courage and your prayers to continue with this amazing legacy that Yuri began almost 30 years ago. Poshipova is a college where nearly 40 deprived orphan teens live. We were really blessed to be able to join in with a life skills class alongside their mentor and help teach them some tools for life. This was all about trying to get a job, how to keep a job, how to be on time, how to respect your, your boss, ordinary things that we need to know. These orphans live together with shared dormitories and bathrooms where hygiene is poor anyway and we pray the virus doesn't reach them as it was spread so easily in these close quarters and they would not have good access to medical care. As we left Pushupava, it was time for one of the orphan residents to move out and start life on her own. She is really barely prepared for this. Slava is helping her as much as he can and will continue to do so as long as freedom of movement is still allowed. It really was an extremely emotional time seeing um, Natasha having to leave the adults that had cared for her over the last few years. It was clear she was frightened at the prospect of life on her own. She put on a brave face and said a goodbye to us late at night, but apparently she didn't sleep at all that night. For those of us with families, at this extremely challenging time for all of us, there is a sense we have support to get through this together. Our mentors care for some of the most mentally traumatised and emotionally challenged young people. And as the world slows down and this valuable human contact for our orphans is under threat, please pray for them. This is also a very challenging time for us as a charity. The economic impact is affecting us all. Our orphans and vulnerable mums are already losing their poorly paid unofficial jobs. The Women's Crisis Centre is already struggling to pay their bills and are unable to get those needing hospital treatment to a doctor. For people who are already so poor, who struggle to buy food, our support's going to be more vital than ever. If you can, please contribute towards supporting these marginalised and vulnerable people. You can do this now by heading to our website at loverussia.org. Thank you.